everyone. This is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. Boy, have we got a treat for you. I've said that before many times, but I can't get over this current class that I have. They are really insane. And this sketchbook video is Anna's sketchbook video. Now, Anna has left us. She has gone to the 3D animation department, and we all miss her, but she left us with a really great sketchbook video. And uh, before the video starts, I just want to let you know that she has no social media that she wants to share. She told me at the end of the video she's got no Tumblr, no DeviantArt, none of that stuff. And uh, yeah, so just in, in, enjoy her sketchbook. Now, if you want to learn some of the techniques or all of the techniques that I teach in class to Anna's class, these students are so great, uh, come on over to drawingtutorialsonline.com, come on over to the blog and uh, join today. I mean, we've got three different pricing options for you guys. And uh, yeah, you can read all about what we have to offer over here. Even if you just sign up for one month, gosh, you will learn so much. All right, that's my short plug. You're gonna love this video, so let's check it out. Hey everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We have another really cool sketchbook video. It's the end of the semester. We had a pizza party today, five pizzas devoured, plus cookies. And that leaves us with Anna. And Anna is just a workaholic with lots of talent, right? Oh my God, totally, totally. So you're in for a treat. I mean, Anna's sketchbook is jam-packed. And Anna, what is your dream job? I want to become a 3D animator for Disney or Pixar. Someday. Awesome. Yeah. All right, you will be, you will be, because you know how to work and you've got talent. So let's get started with this. Mm -hmm. And so this is just um, some rough skeletons, but they're really not rough because your detailed brain mm -hmm. likes to get into the details, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, so let's start flipping. Let's start flipping. We'll share your sketchbook with everybody. So this is a very, very long time ago. This is, um, yeah, date, homework, week one, angles and measurements. You guys know all this. You can keep you can keep going. Let's just go at a good clip because we got lots of artwork to get to. Um, yeah. So what, what I what I really like about Anna's work is that she. How long does something like that take you? This took me a whole day. <laughs> yeah. See, you, you're yeah. you're super talented and and you love the details. I would say you would say that you draw slow, right? Yeah. And what about a page like this? Um, I guess it took me around uh, four hours. Okay. Two hours each. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So that's what I mean about workaholic. Mm hmm All right. Let's get a canvas going. Let's. And so I, you know, my brain becomes like supercharged and I, uh, I get really hyper and I, I sort of like. I channel all that energy into drawing, and so this is, you know, what I end up doing. It's just, like it's funny because like the next morning, I look at my schedule. I'm like, oh, I, I don't exactly remember drawing that. <laughs> so it's like you know when you get drunk and you have a hangover. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> all right. Cool. Keep keep going. Keep uh -huh. going. Keep going. Oh my God. So do you guys see the chaos here? I mean, whoa. That's a lot going on there. Holy Moses. Those are some really unique shapes. Wow. Thank you. Okay, so then just concentrating on surface planes in that particular drawing with, with shadows. You guys see the date? That was a really long time ago, 9.30, Okay. So the, the thing that I really like most about Anna's work is that she, she really gets into it. Like she's not trying to hide behind any technique like she's really going on into the drawing and, and trying to figure it out um, and really working through the details of the drawing and I, I mean yeah you it's almost like you leave no corner on, on turns it's like you get into every little nook and cranny of the character mm -hmm. and the texture and the line and, and you got shadows in there all these expressions good All right, so now this is just, why don't you go a little bit faster because these all kind of work together. I mean, okay, 
So keep going, keep going. Do you guys see the line that Anna does, like how flowy it is? And, and the ones before were much tighter. So, I mean, Anna does a lot with the pencil. I mean, and then she does this. So I love that about your work that you're able to do like a very, we're, we're just gonna call it a stiff, traditional drawing. And then you're able to do loose stuff. Like, look at that. So that, so how long did that take you for the homework? Probably six hours. Oh, get out of here. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. No wonder why you had such a hard time to finish this sketchbook. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is, I mean, these were the best. And keep, keep flipping. So we'll go out of, out of canvas. Jeez, Anna. When did you start drawing? Um, at a very young age, probably like two. And can I be honest with you? I've never had like a drawing lesson or like class like that, but, like before uh, coming to SVA. Like um, in high school, they never really taught us anything. We just sort of left to our own devices most of the time. Yeah. So I never really learned how to draw. I just sort of just kind of do yeah. everything naturally and yeah. intuitively. Yeah. Wow. So you guys see the diversity. What, 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 I, what is great about Anna's sketchbook is this is a freshman drawing class in college and the experimentation level is so high in the sketchbook, which is the way that it should be. Like, I love that you're trying tone, you're trying line, you're doing, you know, life drawing, you're using like the pencil in a different way in each drawing. Like, it's, it's phenomenal. Like, it's really, really good. Um, now, are you just exploring different styles? Yeah, yeah. I don't really know, like, uh, my style yet, so I'm just kind of like uh, experimenting with different techniques, different kinds of drawings, and wow. just to find my style. Here. What do you like better? Do you like line or tone, or a combination of the two? Yeah, a combination of the two. Good stuff. Like, there's lots of power in your work. Whoa. Now that's a couple. Mm -hmm. Out of your imagination or from life? No, this was, a, um, I took a picture of them um, at um, Madison Square Park. It's funny because like, I didn't notice like the fact that they were matching until I went over my photos. I'm like, oh wow, this is a great photo. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Most of these were uh, pictures I took at uh, Madison Square Park. Okay, so you have a big variety of artwork in your sketchbook. Uh -huh. Photos, memory. Uh -huh. When did you do all this? Keep going, keep going. A while ago. But, That's yeah. phenomenal. Oh my, what a great drawing. Holy. Damn. Oh, that is... Um, you know, that was my first attempt at uh, like uh, doing a self-portrait. That was before we like uh, did the portrait yeah, did class. The thing. Yeah. So, I think I've improved from that. Yeah, I mean, you're you're good. You're 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 in a good place. I think. Mm -hmm. If I gave you like, look at that that movement. Now that is memory. Yeah. Well, I did reference a couple of poses. Yeah, so you're referencing this. some, and some of it's out of your imagination a little bit. Like, you're really yeah. doing the whole combination. Mm-hmm. Like, if I had to tell you and suggest just in one sentence, uh, it would just be a little, speed up a little bit. Because you yeah. have talent, it's just speeding up a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's it. Wow, gorgeous, your line. And what type of pencil have have you been using it primarily in this sketchbook? Probably the Derwent. The Derwent pencil. pencils? Like 2B or that, yeah, that's 2B. one that acts like the black crayon? Yeah. That uh, one? Yeah. Gorgeous. I keep smelling those pizza boxes, don't you? No. Honestly. I do. A lot. Wow. Just the movement. Really great shape. a little of, uh, you know, perspective in mm. this drawing. Good. 
This took me eight hours to draw. <laughs> And you just kind of like chill and do your yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. You enjoy that time. Yeah, I do. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, you, you have a serious attention to detail. Mm -hmm. And now you guys out there in YouTube land, look at the line going from that more traditional. Like, look at that dog. Like, there's even better ones coming up, but I just just love these characters and, and the line I mean you can be a pinstripe artist you, you can pinstripe like Ferraris with your line and that bear like what was that from like a photo yeah it was from a photo like the style here is just the best in my opinion like I love that that to me is like one of my most favorite pages in your entire sketchbook along with those cast drawings in the light and shade. It's funny because I didn't like put a lot of effort into that drawing. So I was kind of surprised. Yeah, no, really it's my favorite it. one. Like yeah. it's just so form driven. Mm -hmm. So you're going to cute there, much more stylized. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to Yeah, why turn not? It? You can like obviously that's from tell who that is. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell who that is. Sonny? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, Sonny, the one that said that I looked fat in my videos. Not Sonny. true. Not true. <laughs> She's never going to live it down. Yeah, this is one of my characters for Story Pitch. Look at the modeling factors exercise. If, you, if you've been a member of DrawingTutorialsOnline.com, and you've tried the model and factors, you know, that's just your first try and it's just so slick. I, I, I got a reverse gradation, lots and lots and lots of pencil mileage. Holy. Matching values, good exercise. I'm so happy you put that in your sketchbook, mm -hmm. printed it out from the website. Just uh, matching values for, uh, in class, just a short exercise. Yeah, this is uh, something I did out of boredom. By the way, Stephanie drew that. That's supposed to be you, but she drew it in my sketchbook. Oh, I know <laughs> it's me. The eyebrows <laughs> gave it away. <laughs> You're on fleek. Yeah, I'm upset with Stephanie because her sketchbook was supposed to be next, and she's sick, so next semester. Yeah. Good. So I would say that you have a serious amount of hours put into this mm -hmm. sketchbook and you have got to speed up. Well, you, you have to go a little bit faster because we're at minute 12, but you have got to cherish and really save this sketchbook. Oh, um, yeah. You, you really do. It's, it's, a, it's a big part of your freshman year. Like I bet you each page tells a story about where you are in your life in that moment that you were doing that drawing. Wow, look at that. Is that from life? Yeah. Get out of here. You just held, held your hand that way and drew it? No, I took pictures, All right, obviously. good for you. Yeah. All right, I was <laughs> no. gonna say, damn. That's beautiful. Good, good, good. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so when you get into something, you really study it. Mm -hmm. This was something we had to do in animation class, so, yeah. All right. So you're going to make the switch to 3D animation yeah. next semester. Yeah. So we won't see you anymore? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, good for you. I'm glad that you know what you want to do. That's very important. It takes a lot of guts to shift. Mm -hmm. Guess who that is? Can you tell? Yes. That's, okay. Um, song. Yeah. That's beautiful. Thank you. It's kind of hard to see. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, it's an, another character of mine, like from Story Pitch. Mm -hmm. Nice, beautiful line. Thank you. 
and then just do you see the difference like how Anna can like switch gears from tone to line I mean yeah pretty good pretty good lots of talent to do that because that's a real traditional tonal drawing and then we go back to more like a animated comic book type line mm -hmm. life drawing of a fellow student in class Sonny mm -hmm. a gorgeous copy of a Bougaro yeah, and then like if you just zoom in there, you can see that it says I lost hair drying this. Like I actually at one point I started pulling my hair out. I'm like oh ah, because I just get I couldn't get her butt right. <laughs> I mean the butt. That's the best part. I mean you got the modeling factors on there, the whole nine yards. It's really good. Thank you. I wish you got yeah. I wish you guys were here in real life because the video is not doing it justice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then from that to this, that's what is just blows me away because for me the rendering part is easy. But for some people it's hard. And this is easy, like this motion. Like for me the motion is hard. So that the fact that you know you're a freshman and you're in college and you're able to kind of turn on both of those jets. Is, it's very inspiring to an old man like me. It's, it's really good stuff. You're not that old. Well, we're getting there. We're getting there. Excellent. Yeah, lots of expression. Awesome, phenomenal movement. Like, you're not playing it safe with these poses at all. And you are uh, born where? I was born in Vietnam. Vietnam, wow. But I'm half American. So. Sweet. Interesting story. Mm -hmm. Good. What do you like drawing better, animals or people? I like drawing both. Because, like, uh, when I draw people, I tend to exaggerate certain things like um, their arms and legs. Like the proportions, I kind of play around with that. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Hi, Tom. <clears throat> Now these are from, are you just uh, watching the animation? No, like, uh, do you mean like, um, Memory, I... photos? No, uh, well, yeah, memory. It's like, I, I created these characters you got out of me. my imagination, yeah. Wow, that's really impressive. All right, sorry for the shake, sorry for the shake. All right, let's go a little faster, just because we're at almost 18 minutes and that's kind of like getting close to my time limit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can just ignore this because Stephanie did that. And then there's Zara. Hmm. Blue color race. Mm -hmm. I, for some reason, I forgot to do their faces. Yeah, so, faceless apes. <laughs> Sounds like a rock band. Mm-hmm. Very nice. The shapes are just really gorgeous. Thank you. And then just doing some homework, drawing feet. Beautiful light and shade. One of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. That was uh, doing a drawing off of a screen in class. Mm -hmm. Little environmental perspective. 
another one from our computer in class. Same thing, three point perspective. Good, good. And then just, yeah, you got yeah. it all in the sketchbook. Homework. I love this for homework. Temple of Dendora. And how did you like, keep flipping, keep flipping, because we're asking you. Um, how did you like doing it in real life? When we it went was to the great. Met? It was great. I got to see the finer details of the building, so that was, yeah, I mean, because like from the picture in your video, it was kind of blurry, so. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. All right, so we're just about at the end, right? Yeah. All right. And what do you have on the last page? More storyboarding, I guess. This is for my final, so. Um, yeah. Okay. That's pretty much it. Well, that was a lot. That was a lot. Anna, that was 21 minutes worth of jam-packed. <laughs> Crazy, thank you for sharing. Do you have like a Tumblr or any of that stuff? No. Nothing online that you wanna share? All right, so out of your mouth, visit the blog, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks, Anna.